welcome back to another beautiful day in Penang. I'm here with my friends Fiona and it's Chatty. And so we're here, we're gonna be eating some chicken rice. Yeah, a local recommendation by them, so we're gonna check it out. It's gonna be really awesome. Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was some really delicious food. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Fiona. Terra makasi. Sama sama. All right, guys. So I just had some lunch with uh, Chad and Fiona. Very nice people. So they just dropped me off here at um, Kekloksi. I'm gonna go ahead and try to explore it. It's a um, one of the largest, actually Chad told me it's the largest uh, temple, Buddhist temple in Southeast Asia. So we're gonna go check that out. So there's two paths up to the temple. There's like a main path that you can take, which is probably outside. But I'm going through kind of a small path that goes through a corridor full of shops. You know, some souvenir shops. So it's a, it's a slower, slower stroll, but, but you know, something to look at. Pretty neat. See a lot of local vendors selling um, a lot of souvenirs for tourists. <laughs> Thank you. I like to be in camera. Totally. <laughs> Incredible. This temple is actually very huge and you actually do feel the the grandiose presence as you're kind of running through its ruins. You're almost transformed into a completely different world. Absolutely breathtaking and stunning. I mean just look at the architecture all around me. I enjoy going to temples, especially when I'm in an Asian country. I see a lot of the Buddhist, the Oriental influences, you know, that is present with all the architecture, the statues, the adornments. The only problem is that when you, you know, when you think you're a photographer or you are doing these videos for YouTube or you're vlogging or you're trying to be creative, you're constantly snapping photos in your mind. So you're just trying to it's hard, you know, I get, it's, it's almost like having hyper ADD in my mind. I just keep snapping photos and seeing what the best angles are. It's cool. I like it though, but I mean, it's like I could literally spend hours at a place like this just because of all the things that are going through my mind. It's super exciting, really do enjoy it, but yeah, it's a lot of visual overload. No, no thanks. Of course there would be a souvenir shop in the temple because you know tourists thank you we're going up there to that tower good thing about last one in is first one out the catlock seat it's almost an equivalent to the Bhakti Caves when it comes to the Buddhist religion. But wow. So. So. Immense. And you, um, you get these amazing views up here of the city. Look at that. You get a nice view of Penang. Beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was a. Uh, it cost me three ringgit to take that lift where they crammed literally like 532 people in the elevator um, for a one-way trip. I'm gonna walk it back down. It should be a half-hour walk. Shouldn't be a big deal. It's going downhill anyway. I mean, you can almost get views like this in every place you go to in every country, but that's exactly what that is. You want to experience things like this in different countries. I'm standing here atop of the biggest Buddhist temple in Southeast Asia. Incredible. Just that thought itself is just absolutely mind blowing. Just as big as the statue right in front of me. But wow. Whew. This heat though, it's meant to get me hungry. <laughs> I think we're about halfway down.
now. Let's keep going. Yeah. All right, guys, just left the uh, Keklokse Temple and now looking for some food. It's starting to rain a little bit. You see that? I actually do enjoy kind of an overcast or uh, rain clouds when it comes to some photography because you get a lot of contrast. So, hey, a little bit of a silver lining to, uh, to look at. The positive and the negative because you know, no one likes rain. No one really likes rain. All right, guys, so I stumbled upon this little stall that sells some fruit ice kachang. I'm super excited because it's going to be my first time trying ice kachang in Penang. And so far, everything in Penang, as far as the cuisine is, it's just a step above everything else. Here's my fruit ice kachang. It looks very delicious. So let's, uh, let's give this a go. Whoa. Oh, that's so refreshing. So good. With star fruit. It's a very Asian fruit. Wow. Very delicious. That's yes, with everything that I've been eating. Oh. And for those of you who haven't had any star fruit or dragon fruit, I think it's dragon fruit actually. It's got a very um, very light texture, not not form of crisp like an apple. It's a delicate touch of sweetness. Mm. Let's try a little bit of this on top. It's a, a little bit of a, a little bit of ice cream. Can't go wrong with ice cream. Can't go wrong. Mm. Tastes like coconut. Coconut ice cream on this ice cream chain. All right, guys. So I walked a little bit down the street. And I saw another place that sold ice kachang, but this time I went for more of the classic ice kachang with the fruits. Check that out. Wow. That is a beauty. Oh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Go. Like I said, again, the ice kachang here is very delicate. Not too overpowering, not too sweet. You got more of the beans, the corn, the jelly uh, that provide all the flavor. Mm. Super refreshing, super delicious, mm. and really cheap. I mean, it just cost me about a dollar. This is incredible. Mm. Wow. Penang is definitely. Food is heaven. I mean, you're talking about street food here that tastes incredible. Better than anything that I've had in a restaurant in the United States, in fact. All right, so I just got back to uh, Chad's um, place and he had prepared some, what is this? Chinese <laughs> lotus soup. Chinese chicken lotus soup, soup. okay? Look at that. Soup. Homemade, no MSG. It's all right, so chunks mm -hmm. of pork. Yeah. Mmm. It's a tender. Very tender. Yes. Very I tender. Fresh. You know the lotus flower? Yes. And this is the root. Oh, you can eat that? Yes. Yeah. It's very good. Mm, that's right. It's very rich of the nutrition of this root. And it tastes good. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's like um, like, like taro kind of. Oh, potato. Potato, like yeah. yeah wow. Like it's very delicious. Yeah. Protein. It's yeah. a good cook. Yeah. Good cook. Very, very good. You guys got to try this. Maybe if you're in Penang, you gotta go find Chad, but... Airbnb! <laughs> Airbnb! <laughs> Chad is a good driver. I feel very safe. <laughs> this sweat. Just, it's like I oiled myself. I'm just glistening under the sun. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Chaddy. Good job. Good job. 780 meters later, Chad and I finally made it to the top. He's a pro though, he does this four times a week. Oh wow, that was quite a challenging hike. Yeah. I'm dripping sweat, that's why we're up here now. We're gonna go eat some some desserts and have a few shakes. So, Ooh. 
definitely an awesome hike. Make sure you do it. You can't take a train up here, but if I were you, I'd rather take the hike up. It's definitely worth the, uh, <laughs> the effort. Yeah, this is a sour salt with uh, our passion fruit. Yeah. All right, guys, so you know what it is. It's uh, ice cream train time, but look at this beauty. Oh my goodness, look at that. Incredible. This is the best ice cream train I've seen yet. Looks like they got some ice cream on it with the um, this grass jelly, um, red bean, red red bean. Oh, peanuts! Yes, peanuts. Peanuts. And um, this is the purple jelly. And uh, some corn, and of course some shaved ice. Ice cream is a mango ice cream. Mango ice cream. Wow. So this is mango ice cream with all the other good stuff. Wow. It seems like all I say here. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 So awesome. Oh my god, it's incredible. Put a little, give them a little, a little bit of that peanuts. I've actually never had peanuts in ice cream. It's going to be a first for me right here. I'm sorry to tell you. Mm. Best ice cream. Mm. Wow. Incredible. Alright, back down we go. <laughs> Hello. Uh, just for show. How many years it took for you to kill the monster like that? 15 years. Oh, <laughs> Two. Go back down. Man. That was a pretty fast ride. It really just took like six minutes to get down. Alright guys, that was an awesome time. We had an awesome hike. You're going for the dinner. Yeah, we're gonna grab some food. We go for the lock lock dinner. No, we do lock lock. Yes, all right, so we're gonna go do some lock lock. We'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we're here. We're having lock lock. This is Alvin. Hi. Yeah, it's uh, Chad's friend. And so basically, lock lock, uh, he was trying to explain to me what it is. So you said you just. Take the yeah, food. you just like there's a variety of food here. Yeah. So you have to choose like whatever you like and then dip it inside there. Dip it in there. Yeah. Yes. And then before it's cooked, then you can enjoy the sauces there. Oh wow. Yeah. And you just the manager. <laughs> and it's the manager. This guy right here. So you just dip it and then you know you eat and then when you're done then you pay. Right? Yeah. So the idea is actually like the variety of uh, the prices. Yes. It's based on the color food you see. Oh, white. that's clever. There's yeah. some um, uh, green, yellow, green. red, and all that. So I don't know how uh, yeah, the prices are there. I see. And then so basically, uh, and anyone will just sit down if you want yeah. to. Oh wow! So it's a communal kind of eating yeah. situation. I mean, right. you get the friends and all that. That's great. Yeah. Oh, I like this. So they calculate how much it costs by cutting the sticks. You know, that's kind of neat.